on my knees. I hauled marbles and rocks and thought twice before I hauled a Barbie doll in bed for the girl next door. She tried to pay me with a kiss and I began to understand something women like about a pickup man. When I turned 16, I saved a few hundred bucks. My first car was a pickup truck. I was cruising the town, and the first girl I see was Bobby Joe Gentry, the homecoming queen. She flagged me down and climbed up in the cab and said, I never knew you were a pickup man. You can set my truck on fire, roll it down a hill, and I'll still be traded for a good dippy. Got an eight foot bed that never has to be made. If it weren't for trucks, we wouldn't have tailgates. I met all my wives in traffic jams. It's just something we would like about a big old man. Now most Friday nights, I can be found in the bed of my truck on an old chase lounge. Packed into my spot at the drive-in show You know a cargo ride gives off a romantic glow I never have to wait in line at the popcorn stand Got something women like about a pickup man You can set my truck on fire Roll down a hill and I still would trade it for a coupe baby Got an eight-foot bed that never has to be made If it weren't for trucks it wouldn't have tailgates I met all my wives Traffic jams are just something women like about a big old man. Well, a bucket of rust on a brand new machine. Once around the block, and you'll know what I mean. Y'all singing with me now. You can set my truck on fire. Rolling down a hill, man, I still would trade it for a good divvy. Got an eight foot bed that never has to be made. If it weren't for trucks, we wouldn't have tailgates. I met all my wives. Traffic jams are just something women like about a big old man. Yeah, there's something women like about a big old man. Appreciate y'all letting me play for you. Thank you so much. So Kerry Kurtz got a bunch of merchandise. Obviously, he knows how to merch. Look at this. Who the heck is a stack of license plates called Pickup Man? He's got a pickup chick hat. <laughs> And he's got a bunch of CDs, and the word is that we're like, we sell more CDs in Greenville, Mississippi to any songwriter in the history. So uh, he's gonna sign, and, and like everybody else has, so you guys get a record. Hey, they're, you're, they're you're playing, you're playing the music, right? It's not like you got George Strait.